to add before you actually watch the video that there were a couple of bits and pieces here every second second or two maybe where I the phone fell and I had to adjust it and you know what I don't feel up to editing that part out so please have patience with me for the next few months weeks whatever it takes and from here on welcome to the vlog and here we go action jackson stations action stations see what i mean and i'm not going to go back and i'm not going to edit this enjoy subscribe like and don't forget to hit the notification bell love your work see you again soon good afternoon youtubers welcome back to my channel thank you very much for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. Today is Sunday and I've asked a zillion times today what day it is, but that's all good. Today is Sunday. So I have been, let's just get straight onto the topic. I have been, um, what would you call it? My body doesn't like OptiFast anymore. It, it makes me very windy, very painful, especially after the bariatric surgery. So today I'm six days post bariatric surgery and I've weighed myself. I went into the hospital actually, no, I went into the hospital and I was 120 kilos going in. And I don't think that's right somehow, but it's gotta be. With all the gas inside me still, that, and I think that's the OptiFast after speaking with the hospital staff, um, that I was 122. So, but my scales are 3K out. So technically I'm 119. So in one day I've lost one kilo, which in my mind is absolutely fabulous. <laughs> so, um, all right, so let's get on to this. I have purchased some Sustigen and I'm trying the active fiber not that it makes a difference because to be honest with you when you've had bariatric surgery I don't know whether you've noticed um, or ever wanted to know about it but because your only intake is fluids you don't poo that often I haven't pooed since the 28th of October and I know that's the last thing you probably want to know but this channel is raw and very informative and I promise that I would be honest all the way through so and I have so far I just couldn't do a lot of filming at the hospital because there were other patients that also um, deserve to have their privacy and I did respect that so today is my first try of sustigen I tried to find the ones at the chemist that were already made up but what I was told is to make this up shake it up as usual bang it on the table a few times the actual cup that I make it in um, and after that give it a minute or two it should settle unlike OptiFast you get a uh, uh, yeah I'll need to take your glasses yeah that's okay drive that it's all right they're in my you know where they are yeah. kids are off to the beach it's 31 degrees here today and it's only 10 a.m. so there you go and that's pretty hot for Australian weather um, I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit. I should actually take a look because I can change my weather thing, but I'll include that in my next vlog. Um, so I am trying this. Um, the OptiFast still had a fine, fine level of, um, of a level of um, bubbles or foam and still when I intake, when I intook that, sorry, when I drank it, it still made me very gassy. So we're trying Sustigen. Um, I'm going to try this one first, like the baby formula. So, and if that works, then all bit. If it doesn't, I'll try the one in the, um, the pre-made ones. I've just got to figure out where to buy them from. You can wait, Missy, wait, okay? She's trying to be bossy. And I think the only reason why she came out here is because every time she comes out here and she does something, she gets a treat. She hasn't done anything yet, so she won't be getting any treats. No, you'll have to wait here with Nana. You're staying with Nana. Stay. 
Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Wait there for Nana. Um, so I forgot what I was trying to say. But anyway, the kids are going to the beach. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit. But I will find out for the next video. So, but Sustagen, I'm going to have my brunch now. <laughs> That's what you could call it. I actually do have feelings of hunger right now and while I was there to cure my um, feeling or craving of sweetness I bought myself some OptiFast chocolate mousse not made up I have to make it up so and that's not my sweat by the way that's just my natural glow <laughs> I'm trying to use oil to make myself look younger but it's not working so far but anyway, so I will head on inside though. She wants to go in. She's not getting a treat. So you'll have to listen to that one when we get inside and make up my sausage. So, so yeah, so I, my videos will probably start to get longer now, which is great. At first they were a bit shorter because I just wasn't able to... In fact, in hospital, I was surprised I made one video at all. Not just because of the, the patient's privacy, but because um, I just simply wasn't able to make them. Um, I had my stick in one hand when I was walking. I had a blanket over my shoulders um, when I was... Um, walking because I couldn't put a bra on and I wasn't able to put one on because well, I wasn't allowed to put one on because one of the sutures is right in I will show you because I'm not going to be displaying anything that's where one of my sutures is so I'll show you I'll just step it back a bit that's my stomach I have one two three four five where the tri gears went in this is obviously where they took the pouch of stomach out um was obviously it was larger than now i can tell they've shaved me because i've got a pimple right here and i was able to get a hair follicle out of it so but yeah and i'm gonna look back and i may get i may get disgusting feedback about some of these shots but to be honest with you, I don't care. Um, if they get nasty, I just turn the comments off. That that does pleases me. Pleases me to a T. Last, that's it. No more. I gave in. I gave her a treat. See what I mean? And that's why I failed because... That's why I failed because um, they didn't lock the front door and I've got the air con going. It peeves me off because they do this. No, come away, please. No, that's neighbours. Come away, quick. Come away from the front door. Quickly. Honestly, and because we live in a complex, we have to be careful of the dog because people did report us when we first moved in for noise. And I invited the rangers out here. I even made them a nice cup of tea, as one of them put it. And the other employee had a nice icy cold drink from our cold water dispenser and with the ice. They sat here every day. They came in, I gave them the code. They're trustworthy, why not? They're rangers, they're government employees. Um, I gave them the thingy -o key to get in and as a result, they discovered that throughout that entire time they were here, Bambi barked approximately in time, um, in minutes, in total over seven days they even came out here on a saturday and a sunday because sometimes the area can be busy on a saturday and sunday especially in summer because of the pool i'm just watering my beautiful flowers again they're still alive and they are so beautiful and they made me feel so alive um sorry you just i don't know what you're gonna see at the moment i'll probably have to get this out of the vlog but I just want to water them. I don't want them to die. And apparently you can feel how much they're watered by feeling the box. 
Yep, that feels better. I'll just give them the whole lot. I gave them about that much where my finger was, so anyway, it doesn't really matter. They'll live. They're living. As long as I keep them nice and cool today. So, so yes, invited them out, the rangers that is. And as it turned out, Bambi barked an entire, um, what was it? 15 minutes on one day in total over an eight hour period. I don't know how they could have been here for that long. Honestly, I didn't see them, but they said they drove around because there was a dog barking. They just knew it wasn't Bambi. So in total, over the seven day period, she barked a total of one hour and 27 minutes. That was over a Monday to Sunday period. So if anyone's more proud of her, it's us, I tell you. So I'm just about to open the sustagen. It says three scoops to, very hard with one hand, three scoops to 200 mils of water. And to be honest with you, it's the same thing with, oh my God. Oh, far out. That is so, oh my Lordy. I could sit here, stand here all day smelling that. Honestly, that is the best thing I have smelt all day. So they do say you can free mix it with your uh, fork, a, 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 a mixing thing or whatever you call it but i do have an old weight watchers <laughs> not one of these so i'm going to use this one because the clean ones are all in the dishwasher so i'm going to give this a go i also loved these prior to surgery when i had to go on the optifast diet my body certainly tolerated them and my body does also tolerate well i don't know yet but my daughter and i have both had this so to be honest if if it doesn't go well with myself, well, she can just have the other seven. Mind you, we usually go halves. So the packet here will be hers because I can't have any of these yet as far as I know uh, for weeks and weeks away. There's six bars in that. I know you can buy a nine, 12 pack, I think, or it might be in these you can buy a 12 pack. They come in eight. But either way, we're fine. We're going through, uh, well, I can no longer have these, so my daughter's having the rest of the chocolate ones. Um, I didn't like this. I didn't like it because you can taste, it's a distinct, like, metallic taste in your mouth. And obviously that's because of, um, it's solely because, obviously, there's an ingredient in there that helps with your... Um, minerals and vitamins that you're no longer getting so this one I haven't really tried yet I just got it on sale the sachet the sachets are not broken there's no there was any damage to the box which is why they had to sell it cheaply in fact they should have probably sent it back to the company and got their money back but I ended up purchasing it for ten dollars instead of twenty four ninety nine, so it's not too bad. I don't generally buy things like this food um, on sale, but I am quite bored of just the one thing. So that was prior to my operation, though. So now I'm looking at looking. Now I'm looking at looking. Now I'm actually looking at utilising different products from either the OptiFast or whoever, whoever sells the goddamn product. I want to give them a go. I want to try them. So today for lunch, I will have that. And today it's, don't tell me it's lunchtime already. Now it's 11 o'clock. So I'll probably have lunch about two. My husband also made some soup last night. So there's not much of the broth left, but I am going to actually give it a blast in my little, um, my little, what's it called? Ninja, the auto smooth ninja burst. So I am gonna put some of that in here in just a moment. I will get a scoop and I'll do that now actually while I'm talking to you. Um, because even though it was spicy, it was quite nice. And it's as long as it goes through a fork, sorry, I can eat it. So I want a bit of the beef because I need the protein. So I'm going to put that in there. Noodles, not so much. Bok choy apparently is a big, a big yes, yes. 
the noodles too probably were the ones that actually triggered my bloating as well so I'm not going to add so much of that in there I want to have this for lunch so I want that in there too as vitamins bok choy if I can pick it out and then what's left my husband can have for dinner tonight so meat so if this happens to go through a fork <laughs> the time I end up blending my soup with it um, it'll be great so that'll be perfect now I'm gonna actually put this in the fridge because it's hot here today in Australia in Queensland on the Gold Coast um, because my husband can have that what's left over of that for dinner oh yeah that was my fluid from last night that I didn't eat so I'm gonna add that and it's just got a spoon in it because I went for second helpings it's not that I actually had the second helping so I'm gonna pop that in there okay and we're gonna blast this away whatever goes through a fork I can eat and there's nothing no ingredients in this that I can't actually have so that to me is a blast it's on now I'm gonna pulsate it and I'll show you Show you how it comes out in just a second once I get the lid open, if I can, because I do it so damn tight sometimes. And I'm trying to only use my arm muscles. I was making a sausage and drink, but for some reason, I'm now pulsating this soup. Oh, I did do this tight, didn't I? There we go. That's undone now. So, here we go. We've got some air in there. Let's test it. And as I said, Okay, it looks like baby food. Yes, I know, but to be honest, I wanted to do this whole thing for the last three years, and I'm willing to go through whatever I have to to lose the weight, be beautiful again, be young again, and be able to enjoy life with my son and my daughter and my husband. I haven't been able to do that for a long time because of my obesity, so I'm very 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 lucky that I was able to do this and at no charge to myself so all right so it doesn't quite run through the fork so my intention oh hang on did you see that it sort of does but doesn't so it is too thick but what I will do uh, is add the recommended dosage of water with the chicken soup in with this so that is going to taste absolutely divine now of course I can only really have 200 ml at any one time and I have to eat that over a period of a time why did I just wow that just went on without actually screwing it on okay no it's not on there I'm gonna pop it down for just one I'm here. I'll fix this sucker up. No more for you, Miss Bambi. You went outside. You told me you wanted to do a wheel poo. You didn't do one. So no, you can't. No, I'm not getting out again. And no more treats. You've had far too many. Why are you being cheeky to Nana? Why are you being cheeky to Nana? That's what I want to know. The fridge is full. We recently had to give up a cold water machine. So as a result now, you've got all these bottles in the fridge of water, which is great because we all need nothing like cold water. Okay, so I need three scoops. Now there should be a scoop in here, I imagine. I hope there is because if there's not, I'm in trouble because I don't have a scoop. Aha, uh -huh, I feel something in the bottom. There it is. There it is. Okay, so three scoops. 200 ml of water so I'm just going to get the water out 
and I am gonna go cold water. Okay, so measure there. 200 ml of water. And you might think to yourself that's not a lot, but in my particular case, um, my body rejected the, um, sorry, rejected the actual staples. Sometimes it still takes me, but I'm still on the Lyrica and all the rest of it, except I've come off a couple of the others, so one of the others. Uh, the other video with the other ingredient that they took me off, I put it on and then within a couple of hours they took it off me when I was discharged. But I'll, that's another video. So, all right. So, what was I saying? Oh, 200 mils. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you don't have a stomach, well, I was meant to be left with probably almost a golf-sized ball sort of stomach. However, that didn't happen. And thankfully, to my beautiful doctors, they gave me one. And I'm by no means am I complaining, people. So do not see this as complain, complaining because I ain't complaining at all. I'm very happy with how the surgery went. I'm very happy with how I'm progressing. And I'm very happy overall. There's only a couple of cons that I um, possibly that I'm going to actually explain to you in another video but for now as I said another video um, but for now I can't I just have no I don't have anything to complain about in relation to my hospital stay only a couple of cons as I said but that's nothing that's absolutely nothing to worry about so if you want to go to the Cooper's plane or if you're looking at um, looking for reviews about the Cooper's Plains or oh, the Queen E2 Hospital, QE2 Jubilee Hospital. Don't worry your little pretty socks about it because I'm telling you now, there's nothing that I could fault. There's a couple of things, as I said, I could comment on and I will and I'll feed that back to the patient liaison, but they are only improvements to be made on um, honestly, there's no fault. There was no major issue that I can look at and turn into um, something that was um, uh, something that could have blown out of proportion. Blah, 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 blah. Just my second scoop. Believe me, I can't wait to try this. The vanilla one, the pre made ones, were absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, they fixed up all of my cravings. So morning tea or afternoon tea, I didn't know which it was. Morning tea, I think I was given a sustagen. And for afternoon tea, I think I was given a Yo Play yogurt, 100, 100 mil of, um, 100 grams of the yogurt. So just excuse me for a minute while I just pop on. So guys, I disappeared for a moment. I accidentally pushed the home key on the iPhone X. And it set me into my old um, my pages that I've got up, the applications, or what do you want to call the bloody things. So this is me now. Whoa, la di da di da, la di da, la di da di da. So in 10 months time, or even in 12 months time, or even in three months time, I don't care. When you start noticing changes, you let me know because that's what I want to hear. I'm always, I've always been big in the tummy area. I have always looked like I'm pregnant. Actually, it's funny because when I was pregnant, I was glad to have my stomach because, and people used to say to me, look, don't mean to be rude. That's Bambi, by the way, in the background saying, can I have another treat because I've done something outside when she hasn't done anything at all outside. And she's already had four treats off me. No more Bambi, no more. No, sit, sit, stay. You stay right there, you're getting nothing else, right? Just wait. So I'm shaking up my shake, 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 right. Now they said to tap it twice or a few times on the bench. There you go, you've disappeared, so I'll handle you for now on. They were right. 
So as you tap, the bubbles do, the free bubbles disappear. Mm, God, that's nice. You can sort of see a layer like the OptiFast, but I'm going to take into account. So I might keep it in this to drink out of it because it's already made. It's more hygienic. Excuse my tongue, but let's go. Number one. I love, I absolutely love, 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 and this is not sponsored, guys, not at all. I love Sustigen. Oh, if I could swear right now and say how uh -uh, good it is, I would. I only had the vanilla one in hospital. I never had the chocolate. I have been dying for some sort of chocolate taste. But I have to say, I haven't been able to have it um, because there are my beautiful flowers again. Because, well, I haven't been able to have any free products like example food, like solid foods, I'm saying. Now, so that this goes upstairs, the, the coolness of this air con, we put this huge fan on and it goes upstairs. That's how we cool down upstairs, and that's how you do it in a two-story townhouse. Come on, unless you're gonna eat your biscuits. Come on. Well, I'm glad I actually got to show you my bade because I do want to look back at this moment. Oh God, I don't feel pain, I just feel puffed, and that's because I'm not very fit and I've been in hospital. I have been doing some walking in hospital, that was de a definite. And to be honest, I walked out of the front doors at one stage on the last day. I was quite proud of myself. It's dark here because there are no lights on because there are the aircon is off and all the curtains are shut. So there you have it. Come out, out. I'm just going to lock my daughter's room because I do want the aircon to come straight into mine and. <sighs> What did my son forget? His role of clean clothes. So, all right. So, oh, do me. I tell you what, this was actually over there. So I'm going to put that blanket back there because I don't want to have any thingy on my bed. All right. So, happy brunch, and folks. That's about it for now. Um, I will probably pop this up now as a YouTube. Um, as one of my vlogs in whole, in Seoul, because I don't know when I'm, when I'm going to make another one today. So, as I always say, bye for now. Be a fin.